What's good guys, today we're going to talk about Bardock's 236S, also known as his Tyrant Lancer, and the uses and applications of this move. His Tyrant Lancer is a 26 frame startup move when not held down, and is one of the best pressure tools in the game, as it allows Bardock to reset his pressure due to him being left in the plus 4 state of advantage. This enables him to continue his block strings and aggravate the opponent, as well as doing a considerable amount of chip damage which may force the opponent to make risky decisions such as mashing, guard cancelling and random reversals that may lead to their own disadvantage and thus to the benefit of the Bardock player. When this move connects on hit, it allows him to deal devastating damage which may make the opponent think twice before ever mashing again. So when should we use this move? This move is performed by inputting a quarter circle forward motion with a special button and these Bardock plus 4 on block. One of the best times to use the Tyrant Lancer is immediately after an instant air dash as the opponent's mental stack may be focused on other things, such as Bardock continuing pressure with a block string, a dragon rush, or a super dash assist 50-50. Bardock's pressure can be reset easily after all of his light and medium normals as they are safe, so you can essentially pretty much throw out the Tyrant Lancer after any of them. However, you don't want to be too predictable, as the opponent may catch on to your tendencies and make a well-informed read to mash or reflect that could lead to your downfall. So some of the ways that players try to stop Bardock from establishing his mind games with this move is to backdash. And while this option can be useful if the Bardock player is unaware, if they have a read on this, you can actually end up losing the character to it. Another way that players tend to get out of this situation is to do an invincible reversal or a raw level 3 as a response to the Bardock player trying to take their turn back. As with all things in fighting games though, there are options that the player in question can take in order to mitigate the risk on their side and not leave them at too much of a disadvantage. If the Bardock player dash blocks, the worst case scenario is that they could potentially end up giving up their turn, but in fighting games, information and conditioning is key and could very well be useful later on as now they've been able to gather some insights into their opponent's tendencies. Positioning in fighting games is paramount and one of the main positions of advantage is to get your opponent in the corner. The reason why this is so good is because you have now limited your opponent from a certain number of options and providing you have the countermeasures in place for the remaining options that they do have, you could potentially give them one of the most frustrating experiences ever playing a fighting game. This is no different for Bardock, as the corner is the perfect position for Bardock players to abuse his Tyrant Lancer, as you have gotten rid of the opponent's potential escape route using the backdash. Since the opponent can't backdash to escape this move in the corner, their options are limited to character specific options mash, reflect, invincible reversal if they have one, and so on. If you don't have the meter, a reversal or a move that can stop Bardock from bullying you in the corner, well I wish you the best of luck. The Tyrant Lancer is one of my favourite moves in fighting games because it's literally a one bang to the stomach, and the fact that Bardock yells at you whilst he performs this move makes the experience all the more gratifying. Thank you so much for watching, until next time.